Ha. Hey everyone, Hassan here and got another Power Rangers Super Mega Force review for you today. This is something that I found at Toys R Us recently and I'm very excited to do this review. It's the Wild Force Red Lion. I've been really wanting to get more of the Zords for Super Mega Force and right now they're kind of hard to find but the Lion finally started popping up at Toys R Us and here we have it. Uh, some pretty big packaging, uh, a nice big box. Um, so just like kind of for comparison, if you have like, uh, um, what do you call it? Here's like the, the deluxe Mega Blaster um, packaging. So, you know, as you can see, that's kind of your standard, like tiny little, the, that kind of um, packaging there. And then the, the Wild Force Red Lion kind of comes in a big box. Um, so it's, it's pretty sweet. I like that because it's kind of, um, I don't know, it looks really nice. You have like the little background if he's like in the desert or something. Um, and it just, it looks really cool. It kind of pops out on the shelf. It's really nice. Um, it does come with a Wild Force Red Ranger key. So, um, again, that's pretty sweet. Zord Builder compatible, of course. Uh, the key launches a missile, so that's kind of neat. Um, yeah, just overall really cool, just out the gate that you see right in the box really sweet and i love having this artwork on the packaging on um, some of the packages is kind of like faded like in the background but this is just nice right there you got operation overdrive rpm ninja storm wild force mighty morphin super mega force mega force samurai mystic force spd and jungle fury pretty sweet i love that artwork right there um the bottom is just your upc and everything the side shows you different ways to play the card game oh and the lion is staring right at you and then the back you see the nice fire smasher tail right there uh showing the key and all that fun stuff um right here so you have that same artwork there just kind of faded in the back super mega force logo a bunch of the different ranger keys that they're going to release um and it shows you kind of the zord up close and it is zord builder compatible so i have the legendary megazord and basically um i guess somewhat spoilers if you've never seen go kaiger or anything um this is one of the first few main Zords that they get uh, in that it kind of, this one, even though it looks completely like it's a Wild Force Zord, people are probably like, why are there all these Samurai symbols on it? So if you don't know already, this Zord represents both Wild Force and Samurai. Um, in Wild Force mode, the Legendary Megazord kind of rides the lion like that. Um, but then in Samurai mode, he kind of combines and becomes a full-on Samurai. So uh, it kind of represents both of those seasons. Uh, but it only comes with the Wild Force Red Ranger key there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, let's open this thing up and take a look. All right, so I got the Wild Force Red Lion out of the packaging. Been playing around with it. And, uh, okay, this thing is pretty awesome. Uh, up until this point, the 5-inch figures were probably my favorites from the Super Mega Force line. But this is definitely my favorite out of the Zords and, and definitely top of the list, uh, or at least, you know, close to, to the top of Super Mega Force so far. This thing is pretty awesome. So let's move the packaging out of the way and get right to it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to show with this, so I, I hope I don't forget anything because there's a lot. But first things first, it does come with a red Wild Force Ranger key, as you can see here. Red Wild Force. This is, it says PR-016. So, uh... That's the little designation that it has there. Quick little comparison. Here is the uh, the Japanese Wild Force key. Um, not too, too different. Uh, this is kind of like a uh, more darker gold. This almost seems kind of faded on the Japanese one, so it actually turned out kind of better on the, uh, the American one. Uh, and the helmet on the Japanese one doesn't seem to have... Oh, it does have like... Um, gold on the helmet but it's so faded and on this one it, it's it's very bright so um it actually turns out that the the american one in my opinion is better but there's that and of course you do have the little flip gimmick here so ready and there you go pretty sweet so there's uh what that looks like so uh first things first got my legendary morpher so just turn it on and uh let's hear whoops let's hear the sound that this thing plays So it says Wild Force, and then do it again, and... And it does the Mighty Morphin Communicator theme. So there is that. Alright, and then uh, this key, of course, can be used 
with the key scanner app. So uh, loading that up right here. All right, so let's go to Ranger Key mode. <laughs> let's scan Ranger Key. All right, so let's see what the Wild Force Red Ranger does on here. Or rather, we know what it does. It's some lame mini game, but let's see what he looks like. It's morphin' time! All right, here I am, about to morph. Oh, snap. That one actually kind of fits my head, unlike all the other ones, so that's like the only one that fits. All right, it says Wild Force Red, and sure, let's battle. All right, he has been defeated. Let's look at the photo. It's still, the, all the photos look off though. Like maybe it's just the, the way my head is tilted. Maybe I need to tilt it forward because the eyes are not matching. But um, anyways, let's skip that. Uh, let's go and look at the little key collection. And there it is, Wild Force Red, as you can see. So there's my little key collection so far. So uh, yeah, that is the, uh, the key scanner app. And there is your Red Wild Force Ranger key. So, we will uh, put this aside because we will be needing it in just a second. Uh, but here is the actual uh, lion zord here. So, uh, yeah, really cool looking. Um, it's pretty big and uh, it has some nice details on it. Just as a quick little comparison, I have the lion mecha zord um, because we got to compare the lions, right? So, here's the lion mecha zord. I don't know if this is properly transformed, it's been a long time since I've done it. But roughly, I think this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, and, uh, yeah, this thing is bigger. The lion uh, from Super Mega Force is bigger than this one. This one does roll around a lot more easily, whereas this one doesn't. But, uh, and you can just kind of see, get an idea. So if you have the lion Mechazord, you can kind of get an idea that, uh, that this is even bigger. So, uh, especially, it's, it's longer, especially because of the tail and everything. Um, and it looks so much cooler. I mean, this kind of looks neat, definitely. Um, but this is just great looking. And I think just the, the, the colors and everything, the, the red and the, the nice uh, like gold paint all around and everything just, just really makes this thing stand out. Um, I am very happy with this. Uh, Wild Force is one of those seasons that as a kid was like my least favorite season. But I feel like I really need to go back and give it another chance because I'm sure there's some things that I will like from it. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't hate it now necessarily, um, but uh, I got to give it another chance. But, but this, this design from the lion is, is really sweet. So, um, yeah, I mean, great. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned, the samurai stuff uh, is because this is using the combination. On the actual show, you don't see the samurai symbols when it's in lion mode. So that is one thing that you do see, the pink and yellows there and the red rangers here, uh, which is just part of the toy, which personally I don't really care about. Um, you know, I think it looks kind of neat having some of those designs on there, um, but uh, other people may not like that. So that's just one thing to kind of keep in mind. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, just look at this guy. Look at the his whole face and everything just looks great. Just great color scheme going on here. Um, the gold on the little fire smasher tail that he has really stands out as well. It's nice and shiny. Um, yeah, I mean, just this thing is, is, is awesome. So he does have some wheels like here, 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 and here, but then this thing kind of gets in the way. He doesn't really roll. He doesn't roll at all, really, um, because this kind of gets in the way, this little bumper. I don't know why they have that bumper thing there. If they would have put other wheels there, he would have rolled around, it would have been even better. Um, but, uh, I mean, no big deal for me, but, but that's one thing just to, to note. You know, he doesn't really roll around. Um, so yeah, so this is uh, just a regular line here. Uh, now, he does come with this other little piece, um, which in some pictures, it was attached on the, like I think the, the the box showed it attached like this. So this was attached on like that, and that was the lion. Um, the actual instructions showed it without that. And I was trying to look up images of what this thing looked like on uh, on Gokaiger, so that way we know what it'll look like on the show. 
And um, here is an image. I was looking at supersentai.com for the different images. Um, there's the lion. So I think it looks like it has that piece on there, but it's kind of different. Um, but, uh, you know, so either way, I guess it's personal preference how you want it. But otherwise, you can see the color scheme is pretty accurate. Aside from, obviously, uh, this one has the samurai symbol there and there. But otherwise, I mean, that looks great, in my opinion. Um, yeah, there's a teeny bit of red missing up there, but, I mean, overall, I think it looks, looks pretty great. Um, yeah, so... There's that. Uh, I'm just going to remove it because I think I think it looks a little bit better without it. Um, yeah. So, uh, one little gimmick that this thing does is it does come with two missiles because it can uh, launch the missile. So, what you can do is there's a hole right there in the mouth so I can push in the missile there and it clicks into place. And uh, this is kind of neat. You got the ranger key and there's a slot for the ranger key. Any key will work, but you just push it in all the way and it will fire the missile. So, uh, let's kind of do this here so all right so you can push it down and it fires the missile so that's actually pretty cool I, I like that little key gimmick there so you know it's a little bit better than like revving the cycles up and that sort of thing this is actually kind of a neat little thing in here and then ready and fire so I actually really like that I think that that's uh, that's pretty neat um, so that's uh, one little gimmick that this toy has um, that's, that's pretty cool all right so now this also has a, a so-called battle mode for this toy. Uh, so I will um, take a look at, uh, at what that is like. And what you can do for that is you take the little fire smasher um, out of there and stick it on the head like so. Um, so he looks kind of uh, neat like that. And then uh, what you can also do is you take this little piece and um, it's kind of nice that they cover it up. There's like a little gold tab right there, but you can insert this in and it will push the tab in. So it's nice that without, if you don't put anything there, you know, it's not like a big hole. Um, but uh, when you do put it in, it will push that part in and kind of stick on like that. Um, so it's kind of neat that they did that. So there's that. And then you take this little piece and uh, you attach it right in the mouth there. And uh, this is basically the, the lion sword in battle mode. And he looks pretty sweet. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. He looks very, like, ferocious right there. He's, like, got these this big cannon in his mouth. He's ready to fire. Like, this is pretty awesome looking. This little um, battle mode or whatever you want to call it um, looks really cool. I, I really like that. Um, I, I don't think this was on the show. I don't remember it being on the show. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Um, but I think this is just a toy thing and I think it looks really sweet. So yeah, this right now, like this is the first thing once I transformed to this, I was like, all right, this toy is going to be great, but it does so much more. Um, and oh, I wonder if like inserting the ranger key will make it shoot this thing out. Nope, it doesn't. Um, I guess this thing is just too heavy to be fired out of there, but just no worries there. Just was just curious. Um, yeah, so this thing is awesome. So anyways, we have a lot more to show. So let's, uh, get right to it. So there's that. Um, let's take uh, this piece off now as well. And um, this piece on there. Okay, so let's attach the Fire Smasher tail back on there. All right, so let's kind of uh, start transforming this guy. Um, so with this transformation, I think this piece goes back on. All right, and then uh, we are going to need to put this piece back on. Forgot to put that on here. So basically, we're back into the, the regular line mode, except we're, we're keeping that part on. And then uh, what you do is I have the legendary Megazord right here. Um, so here is the, the five main rangers Megazord here. And you take off the pink and yellow ranger zords. You take off the legs. And they attach on. To this guy here. Now this is kind of a, you kind of have to push it in a little bit. There we go. And it really clicks into place. It's nice and solid. Um, so yeah, that is uh, kind of your, I don't, I don't know what combo they're going to call this on the show, but I guess you could say it's like the Wild Force combo. This is like the legendary Megazord in, in Wild Force mode, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's basically using the lion as its legs and um, 
It looks pretty neat overall. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. And, and the paint and everything just, it, it works so well because the red blends into the red there and and the, the gold and the gold swords and stuff. It just, uh, just overall, I, I really like uh, the combinations that the, that the Lion's Ward makes with this thing. Um, yeah, really sweet. You don't really have access to shoot the missiles because the key thing is in there, uh, but you do if you wanted to. You can uh, flip the key and you can kind of turn this and you know how the chest piece will open up, right? So you can do that. And then if you really wanted to, you could like stick the Wild Force Ranger, you know, in there or something. I'm just gonna try and like do whatever. And I don't know. Yay, Wild Force Red Ranger's in there. I don't know, I'll just try to do something random. Um, but uh, yeah, you get my point. You can kind of have fun with, with some of those uh, little Zord combos and stuff there. But uh, yeah, so that is kind of the Wild Force mode. Really sweet looking. I, I really like this. I think it uh, it looks pretty great. And there's a little comparison to see kind of what it is on the show. Um, so again, from uh, SuperSentai.com, there's the image that they have on there. So it's again, Legendary Megazord on top of the, basically riding the Lion Zord. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I definitely like it. So there's that. So now let's get to the next transformation here. And basically, uh, with this one, let's remove the lion from there. All right. So we have the lion there. And we're basically going to deassemble the lion. So we're going to take off uh, this piece there. <laughs> and uh, so, by the way, one little annoyance that I do have with the lion, I, I will mention this now. This piece here with the legs tends to pop off. I'm surprised it hasn't already. Uh, he looks kind of funny like this. At least just interesting. I don't know. But um, yeah, this, this piece tends to pop off pretty easily. Um, so while I was doing some of the transformations and stuff, it would tend to pop off a lot. So that kind of is annoying. I wish this piece wasn't as loose as it is. Although now that I'm doing this review, it's actually pretty sturdy, but it kept falling off earlier. So that's kind of funny. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's take this apart and take off these two leg pieces and take off this here and um, this part can actually slide right out like that so it slides out of that and then here you can take off the uh, the leg pieces there like that all right so now it's basically completely deassembled like that so um, what we need is uh, we need the two leg pieces. So here's a legendary Megazord. Um, and let's take this leg here. So obviously the side of the pegs is gonna be going inward. So that's how you know which leg to put where. Kind of the opposite that you have the Green Ranger symbol here, Green Ranger thing there, blue there, blue there, but. Um, all right, so you have that part. And um, then you also have, where's the helmet? Here's the helmet. Uh, so we, we'll put it on this way so it's up like that so it's looks very much like the samurai helmet there because we are making like a samurai mode i guess you could say so this kind of clips on like that all right so we have that oops now he's falling over uh then we're gonna take these swords out of the hands because he's not gonna use those right now Okay, and we are going to, um, so on here, this little peg is going to come down, and on this one, you're going to fold that out and bring this peg down. So we're going to need those pegs there because we're going to take these legs and attach them. So the way that you're going to attach it is so that um, it's kind of facing like that, and the, the symbol's going to be straight up like that. So the hole goes in the peg right there. So, uh just like that. All right, and then same for the other side, so it's gonna be like this. And there we go, now it's it. Okay, and then, uh, last but not least, we take the little fire smasher, well not little fire smasher, it's a pretty huge one, and this is gonna be a weapon like that. So there you have it. This is like the, the samurai mode, if you will, uh, for this toy. 
Um, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, I don't think this particular mode is on the show. I can't remember. There's another mode that I will show you that has the lion sticking out of the chest and stuff. I think that one is from the show. I don't think this intermediate one was on the show, but I may be wrong. Uh, but I know they did. he did bust out the Fire Smasher and do like a big finishing move and stuff. So that part is in the show. Um, but uh, yeah, so this thing looks interesting. I think it looks pretty neat. What really seals it for me is the, the giant Fire Smasher is just awesome. That is pretty sweet. Um, so because of uh, this piece now, you can only really tilt the arms up that much, and even then it kind of pushes the shoulders. You can't really tilt it more. So you're kind of limited at what you can do. Like, even though he has this big Fire Smasher, he can't like lift it all the way up or anything. Uh, and then, then the one downside is you also have this kind of this part sticking out because you had to fold it out to get to the peg. This just kind of hangs out there. You can't really fold it back, it just comes apart. Um, and this side doesn't have it, so it's just, it looks slightly uneven. But if you can ignore that, then I think it's okay. That's just the one minor little thing that kind of bugged me a little. Um, but uh, I mean, overall, I think it looks sweet. And from here, you can see at least four of the samurai symbols. Uh, the Red Ranger one is on the lion, so we don't actually see this in, uh, in this mode here. Uh, but this is one of the modes that they show. They don't put this on the box, but this was in the instructions. This little intermediate mode. So I figured I would uh, show you guys that. And I thought it's kind of cool with the Fire Smasher um, as well. So that's pretty sweet. Alright, so now let's get to the actual uh, main mode here, right? So uh, for this, we're going to take away the Fire Smasher. And uh, so we're going to leave them like this. We're just going to add on to what we have here and uh, what we're gonna do to create his weapon is we're gonna take this little piece here all right, and we have the two uh, swords from the legendary Megazord so you're gonna take uh, this one here and it just kinda pushes right in like that just slides right in and then the same thing on the bottom alright now here is where I'm a little confused there's not really one standard way to do this so basically you can have it like this and he can hold it you know, like that. So let me, uh, I'll show you how you can get him to, to kind of hold it. So he can kind of hold it like that. All right, so there's a couple different ways that this can be done. So I'll remove it just to show you. So with this, uh, the instructions uh, show it to be like this, okay? Then the actual image on the box shows it to be like this. Although the way the box works is this part's supposed to be resting on the arm, but no matter, or on the hand, no matter what you do, I, it's not going to rest on the hand. So the box is probably like a prototype toy, which is not exactly like uh, this. So you can, just to make it easier to, to attach, you can also detach this piece here. That's what the instructions show and do that, but I find that I can just do it without detaching it. Um, so that's just another little thing there. Um, and then I found an image online that showed something like almost like this so with you know one blade this way one blade this way so I don't remember how it was on the show whatever it is on the show I would say probably do that to make it show accurate um, so you can do that or this or however you want to do it but basically you have the freedom to put each piece either way you can kind of pick however you want to do it um, either way you have the freedom to choose what you want to do so uh, that's kind of nice that you can basically take. I'm just gonna do it like this because you know, whatever. Um, so there's that and then uh, What you also have so we're gonna need to open up the chest piece here, and so let's take the little wild force key and Open that up and when this is open we're gonna take the lion piece and so these the two holes there go into the two pegs there so let's push that right in and it clicks in and uh, the instructions just show this hanging out, but I like to kind of push that in a little bit, just so it looks a little bit better. And there you have it, right there, folks. This is the full transformed mode right here. Uh, whatever you want to call it, Wild Force Samurai mode, or I don't know. But this is the whole combination. So you have your whole Wild Force thing with the lion and the, the, the legs there. And then you have all five of your samurai symbols there as well. So he gets to wield this cool looking weapon. But unfortunately, because you can't really lift the arm up, that's about as much as, as, much as you can do. He can't really lift the weapon up. This is kind of the most that you're going to see of it. Um, so that's kind of one little 
downside there. You can if you really wanted. I was messing around. You could try and put the fire smasher in uh, in this hand there and have it like that. So you can, you can kind of be dual wielding those two awesome weapons there. So that's also pretty sweet. Um, or you can take this out and just kind of put in the, the fire smasher there. So you can kind of have he's ready for like his final attack. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I'm just going to take it out and kind of put what the box and instruction showed, which was this little weapon here. So, uh, yeah, so this is it. So I'll kind of do a full little 360 view. And it looks pretty sweet. Um, I, I definitely really like this whole, uh, this whole thing there. Let's take that key out of there for now. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I think it looks neat. Now I'll show you what uh, it is on the show, at least what uh, oops, Supersentai.com has, which is this image here. So their image shows one blade one way, one the other way, so maybe that's how it is. So now I, I did see some stuff online, people looking at it, and they're like, it's not show accurate. Uh, no, no. Okay, yeah, it's not show accurate, because I mean, look at the, the stuff, the... There's more red paint here and stuff. It looks kind of different, especially the legs is completely different there. Um, okay, you know, fine. It's not show accurate. Um, oh, and then you have the, the these pieces here. That's sticking up. You don't have any of that on there, right? So here's what I have to tell the people that say it's not show accurate. Tough cookies, all right? Tough cookies. I really don't care because guess what? This toy is freaking awesome. I really like it. Um, you know, if, if you want something a bit more show accurate, I believe the Japanese version is a bit more show accurate, but you're not going to get all this cool little other stuff with it. Like, you're not going to have Zord Builder compatibility. I can't take this and then switch out and put, like, I don't know, the legs of Gosei Ultimate and then stick on, um, one of the arms from the Dino Megazord and some other... You can't do that kind of stuff. Zord Builder compatibility is unlike anything else, and, um, so... This combination, in my opinion, looks awesome. Um, I actually really like this. So if you don't think this looks cool, then tough cookies because you are a hard person to please because I really like this. And I don't think that your Japanese version does this. Maybe there's something that, that I'm missing. Maybe it does. But uh, I think this is kind of neat. Here's a missile, all right? Let's stick this right on the lion. And you see this little key right here? I'm going to stick it in there, and then I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to fire this in the face of all those complainers. Bam! Take that, all right? Take that, because I really don't care. This is actually another pretty cool thing. So while this is connected, um, you can actually fire the missiles using the key. So I think that's pretty sweet. So there it is, and you just turn the key and fire. Like, that is, that is awesome. I, come on, that's, that's sweet. I really like it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is just, it's got everything to this toy. I think the, the Zord mode looks great. Um, every combination with the, the Megazord and the Zord, the Lion Zord, just looks great. Um, and the, the little key gimmick with the, the missile is great. Just everything about it, in my opinion, is great. Um, now, just minor little things, minor, minor, minor little things. This little thing kind of sticking out a little is a little odd, I will say. Uh, I, I mentioned those leg pieces on the Lion's Word were slightly uh, not the strongest, so they would sometimes come off um, when you're kind of messing around with it. And then, yes, okay, the one thing I will say is this part does look slightly odd because these are so tiny. If they would have made these just a bit bigger, maybe, or something, because these are kind of bigger, so it kind of fits in, but these seem a little tiny. I don't know. So that's just, it's one minor little thing on there. Um, but overall, I think this thing just looks great. Um, yeah, I, I'm very happy with this toy. I think it is awesome. Uh, this was $24.99 at Toys R Us, the Lion's Word. And I think it's worth it because it does so many things. You have the Lion's Word. You have that cool little battle mode thing with the, the Fire Smasher sticking out of its head and everything. That was really awesome. You have the, the Legendary Megazord riding on top of the Lion's Word. You have kind of the Samurai mode. And then you have this full-on combination thing. And you even have this giant Fire Smasher that's so awesome. Yeah, this thing is just great. So, if you are collecting any of the Zords from Super Mega Force, uh, obviously you have to have the legendary Megazord, because that's like the base Megazord that kind of 
is with all the combinations. But then you have to get this. This is a must buy for me. Um, whether you like Wild Force or Samurai or not, both of those seasons are probably rated uh, some of the lowest for by most fans. But this toy, I would say, should be rated one of the highest um, out of Super Mega Force because I think it is pretty amazing. So uh, I think that's it for my review. I hope I didn't forget anything. There's so much that this toy does. There, there really is. Um, so definitely uh, check this thing out in stores. It's, it's showed up at Toys R Us stores, some Toys R Us stores, and I'm sure it'll show up at other places eventually. But, um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, this thing is just, it's just great. I am very happy with this toy. Um, and I can't wait to see uh, this combination on the show as well. So thank you all for watching. That is my review. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them for you. Uh, but I think I tried to cover just about uh, everything that I could think of, the different uh, combinations and, and whatever else that I could uh, that I could do. And like I said, I am very happy with this. So uh, yeah, I got lots more Super Mega Force reviews coming up for you, and uh, stay tuned for, for all of that fun stuff. So please subscribe if you haven't already, uh, especially if you like the review. This is the type of stuff that I do, so subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and see you guys later.